time. Uh, so this is the next day after I got them all. And I'm making these small poodles first. And if you would like to make these, um, the girl is Lumbicious that she does. Um, she did them. And so I'm following her. And um, I actually am doing four poodles. I forgot to say that I was doing a white one. But I already had white, so it didn't really matter. Um, and I'm also testing out my new camera, so hopefully this looks okay. Um, there's one thing with it, though, is that I don't really know where, like, the focus thing on here, like, to make it, like, kind of, like, focus a little better, if that makes any sense. So, um, I'm really not sure about that. But, yeah, so I have some black here, and sorry about the lighting, <laughs> my window's open, and then there's some gray, then I got my pink here, my, um, cocoa here, and then I have my other pack, but it's in my actual, like, case and whatever. So that's in my actual case. And then I have two of the caramel, and then of course the white, and I'll grab more if I need it. Then I just got my latch hook, hooks that can hold stuff, and then two normal hooks, and then I have three looms. I do have actually four looms, um, but one I glued down together in one position so it can't move. So I can't use that one, which is, it sucks. And I just want to just let you guys know, these are real rainbow looms, okay? So they all have the arrow. They're all from Rainbow Loom. I don't have any fake looms. I, I don't, okay? So just don't tell me that they're fake because they're not fake. They have the Rainbow Loom stuff on the back. Okay, they're just in different positions. And yeah, so they are from Rainbow Loom because I don't buy the fake ones because they don't work as well either and all of that. So I'm going to get started. Um, I'm going to try to do three colors at a time. Um, it's going to be kind of difficult though, so hopefully... I can, um, I can get all of them done in, like, just, like, try and get them all done at the same time, because that would be wonderful, but it will take a little bit more time, but, yeah, so, wish me good luck. Okay, so, after about, I think, an hour and 20 minutes, I have all the legs, um, I had to do the back leg and the front legs differently. So these are all the back legs I have for the pink, the cocoa, the white, and the caramel. So I have the back legs, and then I have all of the front legs. So um, she just said we have to fix our looms, and we're going to start on the head. So um, I'm going to fix up my piles because there's barely any now, and um, get started on the heads, I guess. Okay guys, so sorry about the really, really bad lighting, okay? Like, I'm really sorry about that. It's, um, it's honestly dark now. Um, so it's gonna be, this is gonna look really weird. But I have, um, both sets of legs now. So I have both sets of legs for each thing, and this is my, and then you have two ears for the head, of course. I'm just going to separate them by color real quick. So they're all moving along. It's just taking me a while because I have to make two of everything. And these ears were all sing like single double banded, um, if that makes sense. Single bands doubled. So it took me quite some time to get um, a whole bunch of these done. So they're all done now, and I'm going to be done for the day. Hey guys. Okay, I'm going to give you another update. I have mine of the caramel puppy's head. I did um green eyes. Let me just get a little that. And looks like the poof bands on the white are coming off. I don't know why. Hmm. It's weird. Um, and right now I have the pink one on my loom. I just have to add they have like this little like cheek thing so I have to add that and then I have to add the eyes and then I'll start looming and add on the head and I'll have the pink one done um but hopefully I'll have all four heads basically done and this is just the top part we have to get the back and I'm pretty sure there's an under one too so yep I'm just gonna finish up the pink one and then um Move on. I'll take a break and then move on to the brown one. So yeah. Hey guys. Okay, I just wanted to give you a little update. It's honestly 
I've done a lot. Um, I've actually finished the whole part of, for all the poodles, um, the first part, which was an hour and 30 minutes long. And I have to do the other part, which is attaching everything. But um, I think I am going to do a little bit of that. I'm not really sure. But I'm just going to show you what I've gotten done. So basically the whole head is done. And I think it was the stomach, she said. Um... So here is the brown dog. So it now has the tongue and the under mouth or whatever. And then we had to add an extra part on the head for the neck. And then the stomach part. And that is the same for all of them. They all have the mouth. Which, okay. So the pink one I didn't know what to do for the tongue because obviously the tongue is normally pink. And I, or red or whatever. And I was either going to do black or pink for some reason. And, um, Courtney Nicole has a big, big poodle that was pink. And she did pink and it looked okay. So, I'm kind of regretting my choice now, honestly. But, yeah. And then pink, um, stomach piece. Which I still have to pull out, like, all the little fluff, little fluff ball things. And then I have the, um, Coco one. They've all, they all have the same stuff as the caramel. Then I got the white dog and that one. I said the next video though, we're gonna be putting everything together, like with the legs and everything, um, and doing the whole back part, which is gonna take forever though because it's all like fluff bands. So it was gonna be a while. <laughs> so um, I probably will start working on it though, and at least try to get one poodle finished, because um, like I have uh, four, of course. So um, we'll see how that goes, but. These are gonna be done soon. I feel so bad for this poor dog. <laughs> I mean, just look. So he's this is the front leg, the back leg, and they're just sticking straight up and then dip a puppy. But I'm doing white first. And yeah. Hey guys, okay, so again, horrible lighting, sorry, it's late. But um so far. This is the other half of my caramel thing. So I've already done two halves, so I've been working like non-stop. Which actually, this is my last bit. I just have to do add the legs and the head. <laughs> um, but this is what it's going to look like. Yeah, I know, very sad, huh? So this is like the middle piece. All the legs are attached in, in the head. And then the next part I know is stitching this part up. And then I think we add the stomach and stitch that up. And yeah. But right now they look demented and creepy. <laughs> but I did... Sorry, that's my latch hook moving. I'm just going to tell you that. Um, but I have my white one, my cocoa one, and then my caramel one is missing half the body. So I'm missing the other half, which is on here. Um, so, yeah. Okay, guys. So I have some bad news. So um, while um, I was stitching them up, she had turned around her poodle to the other side. Or when she took it off, I didn't really notice, but half of the fluff on the thing was missing. And so I was kind of like, what? And I was a little confused because while she was making it, there was fluff on the whole thing. So I don't know if I'm just crazy and I'm seeing things or what. But apparently half the fluff is gone on the poodle. Which makes sense once I like look at the thumbnail of the picture. So I just lost a ton of bands because I had done it on basically this whole thing was full of t double bands, twisted bands for fluff. Which they weren't supposed to be there. There was supposed to be fluff here. But I honestly forgot that I needed to keep that, and then I actually kept it in, on one of them, and I didn't like it. So I just ended up cutting them all off from right here. So it's just supposed to be a little, like, coat thing. So hopefully it doesn't look too weird because you could see, like, the bands here because they're, like, more loose. Um, which I don't know why, but it's like that on all of them. So I think... Um, that's why the fluff bands were there to kind of like hide that, but I didn't like how it looked, so, yeah, and I already, and, yeah, so, I had to cut a whole bunch off, so that's what I'll, there's like big pile over there, and I had to cut all of those off on every single one, I don't know how I, like, lost that or whatever, but they're all stitched in the back now, and they all are missing, this. Some I did like a little more coat on some of them. Like these ones are like really loose. I don't, I don't know why. So 
kind of wishing I kind of kept them on. Um, but, like, at the same time, I really like how it's, like, half a coat. But since it does this, I'm kind of, like, regretting my choice of cutting them all off. <sighs> but whatever. What's done is done. Okay, guys. So, I finished my first poodle. And, honestly, I am happy with it. It's more of just the legs are super duper flimsy. So, I'm going to have to, like, get some wire or something um, to stick in there so that they can, like, so it can, like actually like stand up which I think that's what she did um but I'm just gonna show you now because I just stitched up my first one so here it is um it was kind of difficult to stitch it all up so I tried my best and yeah so I don't honestly like the neck just looks kind of funny I'm still gonna have to play around with it. I'll show you guys the final product after, like, the final final after I fix up these guys. But I have to stitch a lot of stuff up. One last update on the little poodles. And I have three of them, three of them sewn, like, sewn up. Um, they all, they all kind of have, like, a different, like, technique, I guess, um, that I kind of use. They're all, like, mainly the same, but, like, in certain parts, it's different. And, yeah. I have a one more poodle to go, and that is the caramel poodle, um, but that one's going to have to wait. So I have the um, cocoa one. The legs are, again, a little weird. So, like, this is the part that would be different on all of them, and at the tail. Um, so, yeah, but I have to pull out all the, like, the little poof bands so she gets even more fluffy, and then she will be officially done. Same with this one, I also have to fix the arm, I didn't fix it. This one's also sewn differently. Uh, I'm trying to do it kind of like the same, but I'm trying to do whatever kind of works for that poodle, I guess you could say. Then I have the white one. And again, I just need to pull out all the poof bands and fix the legs a little bit more. And then this one, I need to actually sew. Okay, it's official. All of the babies are done. <laughs> so I have the white one here. Oh, it's blurry, sorry. But I have the blue one here. Again, I don't I don't like their legs. Like, I think they're just too long. But it's fine. If you kind of, like, position them in a certain way, you can't really see them. And it makes them a lot cuter. But, yeah, see, like, that looks really weird. I don't know, like, why. I just don't like the legs. Um, Just, like, the way they were made. But then I have the caramel. And the cocoa in the pink hey guys so sorry it's been like a lot of switching around with cameras it's kind of just like what i have at the moment when i need to do an update um but right now i have just started the first part out of six um on the rain balloon huge huge pd huge pd <laughs> huge poodle so i got my loom all set and i have to admit like this probably wouldn't wouldn't be so sturdy unless I had these pieces right here. Um, and my battery's low. Shoot, but I'm gonna do this quick. But these like these um are really good. I would recommend getting these if you're gonna make a poodle like this because they are they're really good and they really help put it hold it hold it all together. Um, but I just cleaned up my station a little bit. I just have my bands here there's black there i don't know if you can see it i have my fairy lights on um i also got all my hooks and stuff that i use um and then i also just made the collar and this one's gonna be a boy i might change the color afterwards and i also just added some little collars on the little ones which i wanted to show so here's the white one and um, it's got a blue and green collar because i wanted it to be a boy and then the pink one is a girl um, with per with electric purple and white, um, also with some bows. This is the cocoa one, um, clear in this new jelly teal that they that they have, also with bows. And this is another boy, which is caramel and has um, lime green and white. Um, so yeah, those are just them with their new like little um, accessories. So I'm gonna start doing this, and we're going to make the paws first. So I'll be back after a little bit. I got the leg poofs done and the paws now. I don't remember what she said is next, but we'll find out. Hey, okay, okay. So a little bit has happened. Um, well, to me, it's kind of like big. Um, 
so I've gotten the little, um, little black, or not black, back, um, little, little patches of fur done, and there's two of them, so I have that done, so I have the leg poofs, the back poofs, the little paws, and then we made ears, um, and then right after we attach them to the first part of the head. So this gets covered by a poof layer and like only like these two rows show. But yeah, I, was, I wasn't planning on really showing you the um, ears until I got something else done, but then we use the ears. So yeah. So I've also found like these really cool bands I've got this one, which is like broke, but it's super thin, so it's like really cool. This one's not broke, but it's super duper thin. It's really cool. Um, and then this one, this is my favorite. It's so thick, like you can't even like tell if it's like actually put together. Like if it's like a whole bunch put together, like it's literally like solid. It's like one whole band. So that's really cool. But yeah, so I'm gonna be moving on to the next part, which I think she said was another head part, so. Okay guys, so I just finished, I started part two, and I just finished something, but I just noticed something. Um, the bands are different. I, I don't know if you could see, oh yeah, you could see on here. Um, this side is more dark. These are the ones that just came out of the pack, and these are the ones that were in my case. So I don't know, and then I started looking, and these are a lot darker than all the other pieces. Like, they're a lot darker. So I don't know if it was because those bands were older, or if they changed the color of caramel. But the tail was half and half because I ran out when I needed to do the other side. So I don't know what to do because it honestly looks really weird. So I think I might redo this tomorrow and do it all this color. But I am kind of a little worried because... Um, and by the way, that was my hand. But um, I am a little worried though because like these are going to be on the actual like back. And I don't know if I should redo them. Um, I think what I, and I'm not going to redo the head. The head is like completely out of, no, <laughs> like completely out of those, that color. So that is not going to be changed, sadly. Um, because I, that's too much work. So, um, I think I might, I think, well, I don't need this for a while. So I think I might just write on a little card that I have or like piece of paper of just saying what I'm going to redo. I'm definitely going to redo this though because this just looks weird. And then later on if this, if these look weird, um, I'll just redo these. These are just little ones so that'll be fine. Um, but yeah, those two, these are probably going to get changed. But I'm kind of mad. I'm kind of disappointed because I actually really like when I put them both next together I really like this one um this version which is the I guess older ones I don't know like I said I don't know if it's because it's older if they changed the color I think they might have changed the color because these have more like red in them than more like brown because like these have more brown in them and then these ones have more red so um yeah, hopefully that doesn't affect anything. I really hope it doesn't. Okay, guys. So I have first off made a decision. Um, I think I said that right. Decision. I don't, whatever. You know what I mean. <laughs> I've made a decision on um, what I'm going to do about the head and the ones that are different colors. And sorry, it's like blurry. Focus, dude. There we go. Um, and I also got some more stuff done, as you could see here. So I have two of the poof poof pieces for like the back or whatever i have this one and then i have this one and i have one more to go and it's i think it's, i'm pretty sure it's just like this but with the hole on the other side i think um because those are where the arms go through so i have this um and i'm pretty sure if i look yeah i'm pretty sure that she finishes the other poof um, and then she does, moves on to part three. So after I finish making this, the one more poof that I have, 
Um, I'm going to go back to the beginning and I'm going to redo this. I'm going to throw away this color and I'm going to keep this one. So I'm going to redo this and then I'm going to go back to video one, sadly. And I'm going, and then I'm going to redo these because these are also a different color. And sadly, I'm going to also redo this. I really don't really, I really don't want to do it. It's not that it was hard or anything. It's more of just I have to do something else that I thought I had done. I have to redo. So, yeah, after I finish the, the other poof, I'm going to go back. And I'm going to do these first and then go back and do that. Okay, guys, so I have finished so much. I'm so proud of myself. And I'm actually going to move on to part three, which I did actually watch and see what she said that we were going to do. And she said that we were going to do, um, we're going to finish the head. So, yeah. Um, so let me just show you. I just, I found this really awesome, like, weird band, and I just really wanted to show you. So... Here it is. It's like really weird. Like, I don't know. I don't know why it interests me, but I really like him. So, yeah. Um, and then I got. Then I got this part done. I re just finished it. I redid it. Um, so, the other one is now in the trash. So, I got that done. I redid the back poof. Sorry about the lighting, by the way. Got the back poofs done. Got the tail um, bit redone, which I only had to take apart half of it, so that was nice. Um, so that's done. And then the big part <laughs> is this. I got the poof all done. So they're all done. And then we had to sew them to she sewed them together on the end. Sorry, it's hard with one hand. So then we sewed it together, and yeah, so that is all done, and it kind of honestly just rolls up, so that's like perfect. So I basically am pretty much good, so she said that we were going to do the head now and finish it up, so hopefully I can get at least the head done tonight, today. Um, yeah, hopefully I can get the head at least done. And after that, uh, that w I probably will be done after I finish the head. It depends on how long this head takes. So yeah, wish me good luck. Hey guys, ignore my cat. He decided to lay in the middle of all of this. But I've gotten so much done. We made the snout and the jaw. And then we attached it with the neck. And yes, yeah, so next I think we... um. Um, I think we actually add, oh, and we also made this piece, which was so stressful, honestly, for me. But we're making, or attaching this next, I believe. Um, and then after we attach this piece, I'm pretty sure we're attaching this piece, and that is the end of part three. So, yeah, exciting stuff happening. So, yeah. Okay, guys, so it's been a couple hours. It honestly just went dark and all that. Um, but I have made some progress. I made, um, of course I finished the head. So here he is. He's got his little head thing on and then, um, his mouth just snaps in like that. And I think I'm gonna push, um, like push his eyes out just a little bit more, but, um, I didn't really, <laughs> didn't really matter at the time. And then we have to sew this part on the back, but we'll do that when we're actually like, like almost like basically done. So have that, and then um, I made two legs. I'm not sure which ones she said these were, um, but they are stuffed. So that's the only thing though is that you can actually kind of like see the stuffing. This one doesn't have too much in it, so it's pretty good. Um, but yeah, and it's got like the little poof, and of course the little paw. So it's really cute. I think these are the front ones, I think. This one has actually a little more stuffing in it because I wasn't really sure how much to add. So you can see them a little more. And then, of course, the paw and the poof is on. So, yeah. But, um, yeah, so I got those done. And then I'm going to do the other two legs, which this is also in part four. So getting there. So I got to do the other two legs. 
and then I think that's like when we actually start doing then I think like part five is where we actually start like attaching everything and yeah so but, blah. but yeah so almost there hey guys okay so lots I mean lots has happened so I'm officially on the last video so I'm super excited and that's honestly why I haven't done an update in so long because I'm just so close to finishing it that I really want to um, get it done because of course I'm really close so part five was attaching the arms legs head and making the tail so I did all of that um, and I pretty sure part six is the stomach and then literally attaching everything so um, I'm just gonna show it. it looks really creepy right now so um, yeah this is it so it's got the two black back legs and then the front ones and then, sorry about the random C clips in here, I was just like attaching stuff, um, and then the head. So I'm going to make the stomach, and then I'm going to attach it, and then I'm going to sew this thing on. Because you have to, you actually sew this on, you don't just like put it on, you actually sew this on. So I'm going to sew that on, and sew these on. And I will be done with him. I'm so excited. So yeah. Okay, guys. He's done. I really don't have a name yet. So I will. I am thinking of some though. So he doesn't have a name yet. Um, but he is done. I just finally stitched him all up. And he's good. So I'm just going to show you. It's going to be hard with one hand. So just more fair warning. But here, oh gosh, of course it's blurry. Here he is, though. So here's his little face. And I didn't, um, they normally have, um, two, like, little poofs back here. But honestly, I didn't like them on him. I thought it, I kind of liked it without on him. Because I, for some reason, those, like, look more like girls. So he's done, though. Sorry about his mouth. He likes to drop it. So, yeah, um... He's all done, and his head is <laughs> tilted. I have to set, try setting him up. Honestly, I stuffed him so much that he's just like, OMG, I'm so fat. He's really fat. Um, and then, of course, I have the little poodles. And, yeah. And then I have my other one, of course. So, um, I'm going to figure out names for them all. And, yeah. Okay, guys. So, um... This is all of them. Sorry about my shadow. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I'm going to just put in the video, like, their names because I haven't thought of them yet. But when the video is edited and up, we'll have them all. So, names will be right here. And he's so handsome. I love him. I do think I could have stuffed him a little less. Um... Because he's pretty big, but she's pretty big too. And that's what I wanted to show you guys. Um, just a, This is my first one that I did. Um, so, this is... Her name is Snow. Um, and she's cracking all over. She doesn't even have bows anymore. She's very fragile right now. So, yeah... She's pretty much going away, she's, and there's even, a, like, a band right here that fell off. So, she's definitely falling apart very quickly, and it's very sad. Like, her eyes, I don't even know if you can see, but, yeah, so, sadly, these are all kind of break, too, but hopefully it'll take a little longer than this one did, like, even her ears falling, everything's falling apart on her, like, you can just see the damage on her so yeah um but yeah those are that was the making of these poodles right here and the update on snow and how she's doing and yeah so um like comment and subscribe and that was my big bang so yeah